So this session is about introducing a, a new project within MARTA that we're all very excited about. Um, this is uh, called the Materials Research Coordination Network, which we abbreviate as MARCN, thanks to Ben Blazik, who gave us the name Martian. It's pronounceable as Martian. And it's a collaboration across seven institutions. Uh, the list of PIs is here, myself, Kate Brinson, Ali Strakhan, Ben Blazik and Ian Foster, Chicago, Olga Wodo, University at Buffalo, Laura Bartolo, Peter Voorhees at Northwestern, and Brian Schuster at University of Texas, El Paso. And uh, the idea is, yeah, looking for a way to advance a slide. There we go, too many screens. There we go. I thought I'd start by explaining just what a research coordination network in, is. This is an NSF award. Um, a research coordination network um, is in the NSF's own words to communicate, innovate, coordinate standardized research practices, training and educational activities across disciplinary, organizational, geographic and international boundaries to achieve the goals of FAIR and other open source principles. Maybe more simply put, Martian is an NSF commitment then to link FAIR data and related education efforts in major materials research centers. It dovetails really perfectly with MARTA's community-led approach. It lets us expand our work building a network and also focus on connecting and integrating infrastructure uh, that are specifically people to bridge that critical gap between the data and the methods like AI and machine learning and other things we've been hearing about this week. It's really a big step, we think, to build out MARTA's community work with practical pathways, things that address goals prioritized in the Materials Genome Initiative New Strategic Plan. So uh, Martian is going to connect data models and training, but it's going to give us real practical ways to hold events and then impact materials development for the types of applications we all uh, work on. There were uh, 10 awards made by the NSF. There are 10 inaugural FAIROS RCNs, FAIR Open Science Research Coordination Networks. Martian is one of them. Uh, I won't go through all 10 um, but um, in any detail, but one of the great things that's already come out of the program is that um, there's been an extension of our materials network to the many fields that these new R RCNs cover. Um, we have a monthly meeting and you may uh, see some fields that you would anticipate like high energy physics, the FAROS HEP um, or FAIR for ML ready data to things that might not be so much on the radar of people like us in the materials world, like a humanities commons and educational efforts focused on HBCUs and minority serving institutions. By having the cohort meet every month, the NSF really has been helping us, I think, build connections and bring some new ideas um, for things that are done in fields outside the materials community or even just adjacent to the materials community, which we think can really accelerate our own efforts. Looking in a little more detail at Martian itself, it's built out as um, I said, as sort of our first large scale funded MARTA initiative. And it connects a lot of efforts and ideas and builds on foundational work from MARTA and MGI2. Uh, the MGI2 goal that really says that people are infrastructure too, and that we need to unify our innovation infrastructure by building connections in the national materials data network. It's organized to do what the NSF envisioned in its solicitation, which was so in line with what we were already working on. And that's really for us to convene, connect, catalyze, and communicate. Uh, we do that in four tracks listed across the top there that we call uh, FAIR data, FAIR models and workflows, FAIR impact, and FAIR train. These grew out of MARTA discussion themes, as, whether, as well as other community resources, things like responses to NSF Dear Colleague letters um, and DOE town halls and the like. We have built a projected event flow to have a series of uh, both virtual and in-person events hosted by different PIs in the different tracks. This is already outdated, of course, now that we've started the award um, halfway through the year last year or a little bit later in the year. Um, but what I really want to do is have us uh, talk about these tracks in a little more detail. Um, and so I'm going to throw it out to the other PIs um, to give you some specifics, and uh, we'll talk about FAIR data and then FAIR train and then FAIR models in order. So you can see a little bit about what's underway as well as highlight things that can spur discussion and ideas here for us to maximize the interaction. 